Hello and welcome, I am Beetle92 and today we're going to be continuing our adventures in RimWorld Alpha 13. Uh, it's been a little while since my last recording session on this, so I am looking around and seeing exactly what we want to do. Ooh, rare thrombros. That is, uh, that's quite nice. Those have a lot of meat on them and they're worth a... Ooh, let's go get these. I want to make sure that we pick these up before they spoil, because, you know, free food. Never let free food go to waste. Um, and I am looking around to see what we want to do. What are we researching here? Electric smelting, good. We do want that. Our food situation could be better, but we... What's the growing season? Sixth of fall, so we should get another harvest in on most of our crops. Uh, probably not corn. Six of fall. We might run into food problems, but there's a lot of uh, game to be hunted, so I don't think it will be that bad. We have some slate. I think what we're going to do first is we're going to use the slate to form a kill zone. Um, I've been thinking about it between episodes, and I think having a, uh, a kill zone for our colony will be pretty good. Now we just have to figure out where we want to put it. I'm going to do what I've seen um, other people doing, which is... Hmm, I need to figure out where I want to put the entrance there. That seems good. And this might be more slate than we actually have, but we will uh, see how much we can actually put down. Uh, let's do this. We'll mine that out. There. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, doors in between all these sp uh, spots. So you can always walk through. No problem. And then in between the doors, and I'll just go ahead. Do we have any steel? Do we have steel? Uh, we have more wood than steel, so we'll make these wooden doors. I do need to conserve steel. Someone uh, pointed that out. I've, I've made a lot of my internal structures out of steel so far, and uh, probably a good idea to try to conserve that where possible. Um, so what we're going to do is... Oh, that kind of messes it up. No, that's fine. Uh, we'll do this, and then we're going to take these deadfall traps and put them like that. So our colonists can always walk through, but because of the pathing, um, the way the pathing works for the pirates and stuff, they will walk through here instead of trying to break into the doors, trigger the deadfall traps, and take a bunch of damage. So we're going to use that. I think this will uh, greatly increase our chance of survival against uh, tribal raids in particular, in, uh, particular, although I think... Okay, we do have a hostile tribe, the Toxo Barracuda. The Outlanders Town and the Tribe are uh, not friendly, but not actively hostile. Are we trying to recruit you? It looks like we are. You're fairly difficult, but I think we'll be able to get you eventually. And we are attempting to make some bedrooms for our colonists. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of them are apparently sleeping. Or a couple of them. We have one, two, three, four... We have... Four colonist bedrooms and five colonists, so just one of them sleeping out here. Uh, this one's unowned. Uh, we'll set that to Oxana. Sometimes they do this weird thing where because this counts as a larger area, they will instead choose the uh, the shittier common room bedroom, and then they get disturbed to sleep, and it's very... Uh, very annoying, very counterintuitive, not good, just in terms of uh, optimization and what, what we uh, can get out of it in gameplay terms. Apacas, excellent. We just have the two Apacas. We do male and female, though. They've got some kibble. Good. Yeah, our food situation isn't the best right now, I would say. But again, there is a lot of hunting that can be done. I think we do want to go ahead and designate some of those uh, deer... We'll go over here and designate these deers as hunting. And as I previously stated, 
Uh, wild animals don't actually reproduce like you would expect them to. They just come in from off the map, and then when they're dead, they're dead, and they don't make more of them. Uh, which is a little bit weird, a little bit uh, counterintuitive, I'd say. And I'm just going to go ahead and queue up the doors so that our uh, colonists can get through. And yeah, the deadfall traps will do a fair amount of work, but they certainly won't do all of it, so we are going to still have to do active defenses. And we can actually make the deadfall traps out of a lot of different materials. There's steel, wood, uh, jade if we wanted to, although we don't have nearly enough jade. Uh, and the, the difference between them uh, is also is health, but it's also how much tra trap damage they do. Um, they all have a 20 or an 80% uh, chance to activate whenever anyone walks by them. But the amount of damage is dependent upon the material. And I believe that steel is the best that we can get our hands on. Yeah, steel does 60 and wood does 18. So wood deadfall traps, they do something, but they don't do much. Like, if you don't have any defenses, obviously they're better than nothing, but they don't do particularly much in terms of uh, defensive value. Now, are we... Yes, we're cooking fine meals. That's good. Uh, you need clothing. Do we have t-shirt? You don't have any pants either. No, you have synth red pants. You just don't have any clothing. Okay, so we're making t-shirts for you. That should get done. Our power situation looks good. They still haven't hauled this stuff. What do we have hauling-wise? Let's bump hauling up to two. Just because if hauling uh, needs to be done, I want to make sure that they do it. We've got stone blocks being made. Good. And we don't have a ton of steel, so this uh, deadfall trap setup is going to take a fair amount of our steel, but I think in the long run, especially versus uh, large tribes or pirate bands, it will do a fair amount to keep us safe. And we could make some of it out of wood if we really wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary. And we actually have a lot more steel than I thought. It's just not in the stockpile, so it's not being listed. Um, that also needs to get hauled. I feel like no hauling is really... well, no. It's not that no hauling is getting done, it's just that we have a lot of hauling jobs right now. So that should be fine. Uh, we really need to get Aiko's bedroom up and running. So let's go ahead and mine that out. And I do want to replace these walls with um, uh, slate block walls. But we have a lot of jobs right now. That we, There's a lot of stuff that needs to get done in the colony. And uh, replacing the walls is not top priority. That thrombo, I really want to uh, you know, kill it and get its delicious meat and fur. Ooh, rich soil. That's really good. We don't have any rich soil around us, do we? Oh, that's right. This is rich soil. I forgot. That's where we put the corn there. Excellent. You know, we should. We probably should put rice there instead of potatoes. I think rice does better in rich soil than potatoes do. But, you know, say vie. For next growing season, we will remember that. Are we out of wood? No, they're just being lazy. Alright. And let's go ahead and chop down the trees that are ready to harvest. I think we are probably going to put a, a small tree growing zone. Because I want to make sure I don't run out of wood. So let's make this a poplar. Er, uh, let's go with oak. A good tree. A pop, uh, oak tree. A lot of wood out of it. Longer grow time, but you get a lot of wood out of oak trees versus poplar. And we got a lot of poplar around here. Not that, you know, the type matters. It's just uh, how long it takes you to get wood. I actually should look between episodes and see if there's a, a wood per day on poplar versus oak. Are you growing oak? Yeah, these are oak. Good. There are some oak trees around here, actually. Cool. We've got a group of travelers. They don't have any items to trade, so we don't really care too terribly much. Oh, they just had a fight. Was insulted by Oksana. Now, that can actually um, cause fights where they just punch each other. And I have definitely had that happen before. Oh. They are attacking immediately. Okay, so we have a couple of deadfall traps set up. Not, this actually turned out to be a uh, very good timing on my part. We have a couple of shooting characters, so we're just going to take the shooting characters and flick this switch. Yep, 
Yeah, we definitely need to get uh, some tailoring up and running. This person is wearing... What are you wearing? It's your hat. We should probably get some hat-making jobs. Uh, cowboy hat, toque. We'll make some toques. Make like four toques. And now we'll see the deadfall traps in action. Oh, see that? I guess it was this one. They don't do, like, an amazing amount of damage, but if you have an entire row of them, it does something. You know, it helps. And they are running for their lives. Oh, they're trying to, uh, he's just trying to break down the door now. Who has the pistol? We'll leave you there, since you could probably get some good shots off. Oh, he's just going to fight her. Okay. Crap. We'll melee attack him. Yeah, let's just melee attack him. We'll punch him down. And are we going to try to... Incapable of social, scary... Intellectual or, or artistic. He's a melee character. We already have one prisoner. I mean, if I could sell him, you know, that would be good. Oh no, he's just dead. Alright. Really? Alright. So we have a couple of wounded. Yeah, she's, she has uh, some bruises. Nothing major. We will unforbid the EMP grenades. I don't think our corn crop is going to come in before uh, temperatures get too low. Now, the growing season, what's interesting about the growing season, the growing period is kind of an approximation because it's actually based on um, temperature. It, it's how much, uh, what temperature it is. They grow only in certain temperatures, uh, which means that because temperature is uh, fluctuating and variable, they can actually can get some growing done outside of this range, and you'll see for example, colonists try to plant crops uh, early spring and then harvest crops uh, late fall. Um, it's just that they're they're how they're uptime on growing. They're like you know like how much of the day they can grow in uh, will be a good deal lower. Let's harvest these trees, all the ones that are ready to be harvested, ready to be harvested, I should say. I think we will just use steel. Because, honestly, a, a row of uh, wooden deadfall traps probably won't do very much. Oh, we do need to make kibble. Do we have anyone making kibble? Yeah, it's a, it's a job. No one's done it yet. How are your needs? Yeah, you're fine. I want the female alpaca to get pregnant. Have lots of little... Hey, look at that. That's awesome. That is uh, that's very convenient for me. What were we, this was to say uh, medical wing. I think I was gonna make this a medical wing. I like to do what I like to do for medical wings is have um, this setup, but just don't have a wall in between, and then make the whole thing uh, sterile floors, and that way it uh, it's pretty useful. You know, a good amount of space. You, the thing about it, like a medical, a dedicated medical area, is that it's a lot of uh, space and resources. But when you're when you want it, you really want it. You know when. When you say, well, like, when you need a uh, medical wing and you don't have one, that's a pretty big problem. Alright, so if the exit point's going to be there, we're going to need probably to double up the sandbags here and then deconstruct the ones right there so that people can walk through. And ideally, we would actually have a bunch of um, improvised turrets along this wall that were all separated by uh, stone walls so that when they exploded they didn't kill each other but I think for now we're just going to leave our turrets as they are since we can't reinstall them and deconstruct them elsewhere or like you know deconstruct and reinstall elsewhere we'd have to like uh, completely deconstruct and that would just take uh, too much of our resources oh you aren't actually working are you let's get you I think what we're actually going to do See, this is clever, what I did there. Oh, it's not connected to the power. Uh, apparently we forgot about that last time. 
See, the, the reason that you do that is because the one that's set to a lower temperature will keep it down to negative 9. And then if it ever raises to negative 4, this one kicks in. Oh! Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, we, we, we messed up, gang. Oh, that's, um... Oh. Oh! Oh. Oh. Okay. So, this was unroofed, which meant that when the rains came, the battery short-circuited and blew up. I should have seen that coming. Let's just go ahead and replace them. Uh, we need to get electric smelting up and running so that we can start making our own steel from... What exploded now? Yeah, we need to get electric smelting so we can start supplementing our steel. Uh, we got a good amount of steel. We still have a lot here. I will go ahead and mark all this. We do have... Uh, let's uninstall that since it's poor, and we will reinstall this here. Set up a wooden door. Get the plant in, and I think we're going to go ahead and put slate uh, s potted plants in all of the rooms, just for uh, a little bit of happiness. You know, that'll that'll increase the room's beauty, make them a little bit happier. Oh, geez, more fire. Now, how is it that there's a rainy thunderstorm and these guys aren't working, aren't uh, getting anything done? In my personal experience, whenever there's a thunderstorm, there's a fair amount of wind associated with it. Oh, this meat is going to spoil, so let's override hall priority. And I'm actually going to uh, prioritize hauling manually, just to get this in. You're not a hauler. There you go. Theoretically, they would uh, just do this kind of on their own with the prioritized hauling mod, but I want to make absolutely sure that it does get done. Oh, you don't like her because she's disfigured? She has a scar on her right eye. I wonder if it's like a uh, James Bond style, you know, big scar with like the milky white eye. Uh, you don't have any jobs to do. You should be, yeah, you're stone cutting, okay. That's good, that's, uh, that's what you should be doing. And now let's put a vent in, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I feel like vents are a lot better now. I feel like in the past they uh, didn't do as much, just in terms of uh, equalization of temperatures, but now they do feel significantly better. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen. Cool. That'll be useful if we ever start running low on components. We are running a little bit low, but... ooh. Malnutrition extreme. Do we not have a warden? Let's increase that. You should probably have wardening at one. If there's wardening to be done, I want you to do it. Haul some stone chunks. Oh, nice, we got the berry crop in. That's, uh, that's quite good. How is the wool growth going? 69% and 47%, good. They have some kibble. Let's go ahead, and since we have some um, some steel in reserve, we will make some more traps. Now this is kind of an issue, because normally we put a door here, and I think what I'm going to have to do is actually set this as a mine order, and put a mine there, and a wooden door, and uh, no, that should be there.
like that. Good. Excellent. We can't get anything there, which is slightly unfortunate, but that's just the uh, the nature of the kind of sideways diagonal setup we've got going on. Again, this is not going to be uh, completely optimal, but it will be... It should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. And if we check out... Yeah, see, that's adding a, uh, a pretty good amount of beauty to these rooms. And we check uh, ugly environment. Ugly environment, yeah. So maybe that's saving them from like hideously ugly environment, but we should see once um, cleaning and uh, floor smoothing is done. That will improve it uh, a, a little bit, a fair amount. Again, we do want to try to avoid giving them too many jobs because then they will uh, not know which ones to pri or not uh, do the ones that we really want first. You know, if it, it, when in doubt, g don't give them as many jobs as you want to. Let them take the time. Ah, damn, four point seven percent. So that's going to take a while. Have we hit our cap? Yeah. Let's just raise that for now. That seems fine. We will mine out a little bit more storage space. Do I have them on like really high priority for mining? Yeah, they have pretty high priority overall. Delete that. And slate blocks, they're pretty, or stone blocks in general, they have a pretty good, um, density as far as how much you can fit into a, a small area. Nice. Alright. And let's go ahead and mark these as rearm. You can set them as auto rearm, but I've had problems in the past with colonists accidentally triggering them in that instance. We might get another corn crop in. I don't know. I don't know. How's our medicine holding out? A lot of herbal. That's fine. We're going to have to rely on trade for our uh, standard medicine. Do we have anyone working on the tailoring? We have a fair amount of people that can tailor, but no one seems to be... Oh, shit. Hendrix and Valentina. Yeah, they did get into a, uh, a tussle there. What are their op opinions of each other? Hendrix actually kind of likes you. For some reason. Those numbers add up? They don't seem like they do. Hmm. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong one. Deep talk, chit chat. Had a cathartic fight. Okay, so you actually, your opinion of her is improved because you fought. Which is pretty interesting. Oh, I forgot to put in the uh, the vent there. Three, four, five. So we have our five bedrooms and the prisoner room. We are, of course, going to want to add in more uh, eventually, but that's fine for now. Good. They're hauling the potatoes. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and give them a hunt order. I think we need to supplement our, our food stores a little bit. Geyser. A lot of geysers, actually. One, two... Where's the other one? I thought I saw another one. Three. We are going to want to transition to geothermal power, thrio, geothermal power eventually. I think these geysers are actually probably going to be our best bet if we block off. I think we'll just construct a large um, wall right here to try to prevent the AI from spawning any events this way. And then have this as like an extended home area where the geysers are. Uh, beavers. Ooh. Okay. Let's give them a hunt order. I mean, they're going to take down some trees. That's just how it's going to work, but we'll try to hunt them a little bit in the meantime. 
And I think now is a good time to... Do we want to deconstruct spacecraft or do we want to mine some machinery? Let's go ahead and deconstruct some spacecraft chunks. That should be fine. Nice, so they're healed up from the social fight. Awesome, okay. So we have a new recruit, and now that he's actually part of the team, I'm going to order this room deconstructed. Uh, let's go ahead and establish your work priorities. We only have one doctor, which is a little concerning. Social, sure. Handling, uh, you can cook if there's nothing else to do. You can hunt. Well, let's... Yeah, you can hunt. Uh, crafting is fine. Construction is fine. You have a lot of passion in a lot of things. So we'll actually leave you at two, but you're only going to be doing simple meals because of the, uh, the priority system. Uh, mining, if you don't have anything else to do. Smithing, tailoring, uh, crafting... Yeah, that seems good. You do have, if I remember correctly, yeah, you you're passionate for construction, but I really don't want you building like beds and stuff. So I think we'll just leave you. We already have two constr. Well, we'll set it at four. If you have literally nothing else to do, you could do some construction. <laughs> deep, alpaca deep. And how is that tailoring going? Ugh. No one's doing it yet. Probably because we have uh, so many construction orders going around. Let's cancel these hunting orders because I want her to hunt the alpha beaver first. Yeah, there it is. And you do need a gun. I believe we have some. Uh, we'll just give you a shotgun. It's not the best hunting weapon, but you'll deal with it. You've got very good uh, gun stat, so yeah, skilled professional. Hunting alpha beaver with a shotgun. I like it. Alright, now that these doors are in, let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the traps. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's pretty good. That works out to be a total of uh, 600, 800 damage they'll apply, theoretically, if all of them get triggered, which is obviously going to be split up among uh, different people, but for small raids, that should be more than enough. Awesome. Okay, so this is done. Let's install the slate wall. And a wooden door, and I think, just so everything's uniform, we'll do that. So everyone has the same size bedroom. Does, is anyone jealous? Nightwalker, Optimist, Cold Tolerant, Night Owl. Hard Worker Dislikes Women. Wow. That's, uh, that's good. Always good to see that. We're not drawing down that much power yet, which is really good. We don't have any of the construction... Um, any of the construction uh, buildings that uh, really tend to suck down power. Is anyone married? Social. Wife. We should really have... So, Amelia and... So, it's Inji and Aiko. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take... What's the shittiest bed that we have? Normal, normal, shoddy. Is shoddy worse than poor? 90%. 95%. Normal. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uninstall this bed, and instead, in its place, install a uh, double bed. That way they get a mood bonus from uh, sleeping with each other. Uh, all right. So this is, uh, this has been 29 minutes, so I'm going to cut it here. Uh, pretty good video, getting back into the swing of things, obviously. So the next one will be a little bit more certain of what exactly we want to do. 
Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you're seeing so far, please consider uh, liking, commenting, or subscribing if you want to see more content like this. I have been Beatle92. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.